Hey y'all, welcome back. So today we're going to dive right into a grocery haul. This is a haul for two weeks. We already had a lot of things on hand, so getting started, we got some sliced cheese. We use this for sandwiches as well as burgers, and we always have shredded cheese like every order, <laughs> and some deli meat for lunches. And these I actually added on here. This one's new. It's white pumpkin and sage. And I'm saving it for fall time, of course. The banana pumpkin bread I've had before, it smells so good. So those are two favorites. And I got some rice and some powdered sugar. We just keep a lot of staples already stocked in our home. Um, and I always replace some canned goods each week because I do use two to three cans a week. So I just grab like two chicken, two beef broth, Sometimes I'll grab like a vegetable. This week I actually grabbed um, cranberry sauce. I use this for cranberry, onion, chicken, as well as some Walmart brand Rotels, what I call it. <laughs> it works just as good. But this has been really hard to get the past few orders. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. This is um, some liquid drink enhancer. It's the Great Value brand lemonade. I use this to make lemonade as well as just add to teas and things. Um, I love that it's zero sugar because I do try to stay away from as much sugar as possible. So we keep that on hand regularly. Um, got some Worcestershire sauce as well as a new face wash. I actually think this bottle is really pretty, which is the first thing I noticed, but I've been looking for a new one, so I decided to try it. Um, I'm hoping it actually works good. I have not tried it yet, obviously, but I will let y'all know. Um, just looking at the ingredients, it doesn't look like anything would really break me out, but hopefully it works well. <laughs> I'll have to check back in with y'all on that. And then I got some cold brew concentrate. I actually ordered the pumpkin spice, but they were out of stock, so this was a substitute. But it's fine. Um, there's no added sugar as well in this, so you can always add, like, Splenda or sugar-free sweeteners, which is usually what I do. Sometimes I do add um, just coffee creamer with sugar, but not all the time. And this is my cat, Josie, chiming in on the groceries. <laughs> And then I got this paint. I'm actually going to paint my doormat. I have one of the, I think it's called Core Doormats. I may be saying that wrong. <clears throat> but um, they actually gave me the washable kind. And what I was wanting was acrylic. Because obviously washable paint on a doormat is not going to work. So I am going to have to either return these or I don't really know at this point. <laughs> but the black is acrylic acrylic so um that one's fine but i will have to replace the other ones definitely i don't know what i'm going to do with these huge bottles and i grabbed these um freeze-dried fruit crisps for my daughter she loved the apple ones but this one actually has um asian pear and then banana and strawberry i'm thinking she's really going to love the banana and strawberry <clears throat> and just looking at the ingredients um it's literally just fruit, so obviously that is a better alternative, but she's really loved the apple ones. And then I got two loaves of bread. Um, we always get wheat bread and usually two loaves, like a loaf a week. And then I got some raisin nut bran. Um, I hate raisins, but ironically love like raisin bran cereals. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I got these pumpkin spice little bites muffins. I love these, but I actually got them for my daughter to try. And of course, some toilet paper. <laughs> Gotta keep that stocked up. And then moving back over here to this side, um, I got some crispy fried onions, lemon poppy seed uh, mix to make muffins or bread. I'm actually thinking about making this tonight. It just sounded really good. <laughs> My husband doesn't like lemon flavored desserts though, so we all mine, I guess. And then I got this fabric softener because someone said it had like a fall smell to it. And I don't really think it smells like fall, but I mean, it does smell good, so we'll use it. But it wasn't what I expected, obviously. <sighs> 
and I got some candy corn, but not really to eat. I'm actually going to fill a vase with this, like a vase filler, and then put like, I don't know, like some floral, fall florals in it or something. I'm going to have to hide it from my husband. <laughs> And then I got some distilled white vinegar. I use this sometimes for cleaning as well as a capful or two here and there in a recipe. I also just realized I forgot to show the produce. <laughs> um, so I got two grapefruits. I have, or blah, grapefruit. I have been on a grapefruit kick lately and these actually look really good. Um, and then the avocado, I'm going to give my daughter, she loves avocado, but I think I'm actually going to make like a chicken burrito bowl and let her maybe try it. Um, I'm not sure if it's ready yet, but I guess I'll just base my meal plan around that. <laughs> and also a really small, like unbelievably small red onion for that recipe as well. I feel like the red onions have been so small lately, but it'll still work. And then I got one more onion. Um, I try to keep a lot of onions on hand because I do cook with them a lot. But I already had two or three. So I just grabbed one. And then I got four bananas. I'm planning on making my daughter some um, make-ahead smoothies that I'll just freeze in little containers for her. So I'm going to let these get yellow and then I'm going to make some for her out of those. So that's all for like the dry goods and cold products. But the bags in the sink are the cold bags that I took off. So these are some egg rolls I'm planning on using tonight for, um, I'm going to do some homemade Chinese food. And then I didn't want to make egg rolls because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but I am going to use these in the air fryer. <clears throat> I've never tried these before, but figured we'd give it a try. And then this was something that was suggested to me. It was literally only a dollar. And, I mean, obviously it's not that healthy, but for a dollar, I figured, you know, maybe with, like, some grilled chicken or maybe even a burger or something like that, it would make a good side. So, it's literally just, like, a loaded baked potato, but, I guess, fried like a mozzarella stick. And I got two rolls of ground turkey I'm planning on mixing with some ground beef and going to make some meatloaf to put in the freezer. And then I pretty much always get a pack of boneless, skinless chicken breast on every order so that I can have some on hand just for like meal prep. And then a bag of cooked shrimp. I'm going to use this tonight in the shrimp fried rice that I'm going to make for our Chinese food. So I'm going to keep these two things out because I need to get to cooking here soon before it gets too late. And then these were a new suggestion. It's a new product. It says um, sweet potato rotini. So I guess you could use it like a noodle. But I thought my daughter might really like these since she could pick it up. And I did notice it's gluten free. So if you have a gluten allergy, this would be something good. Especially to offer to children. I think like it's just kind of fun shaped, you know. But um, the ingredients say it's just sweet potatoes. So I was thinking at first it was like a noodle made out of a sweet potato I don't know <laughs> but I mean obviously it's better that it is just sweet potato but I noticed this um, maple cinnamon veggie rotini recipe back here and I actually might make that with these because I think that she would really like this since she likes that kind of like sweet flavor obviously and then the strawberries are also for the um, smoothies that I'm going to prep for her I'm going to do like a strawberry banana one and I don't know what other flavors I'm going to do, but these are actually a really good deal. You get a pound of them frozen, and they usually taste, honestly, kind of better than fresh. But there's no added, like, chemicals or anything like that. Um, they're not pre-sweetened or anything, not like the little containers that you would get. But it's just pure strawberries, clearly. I don't know why I had to say that, but... <laughs> So, <laughs> um, and then the last thing we got is two, um, <clears throat> two percent gallons of milk or two gallons of two percent milk. Um, but that was the last of our grocery haul. And then I'm also planning on doing a cook with me for the Chinese food tonight. So that'll be up later this week, but that's really it. 
that's going to be it for this haul, you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just comment down below and let me know if you enjoy this style of vlog. Um, I haven't received a lot of feedback yet. I know I'm like, I've just started. I do have a few subscribers, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about the, I think I saw 10 or 11 <laughs> the last time I looked. So, um, I mean, even if that's all I ever have, I still just really enjoy doing this. But I would like to kind of hear, like, if this is your thing, if you like this style, or do you prefer more of the day in the lifestyle, or, um... I guess like specific things like I said in my last one um, I watch a little bit of everything honestly I just like variety um, I'm planning on sharing a few of the recipes that go with some of these grocery items that I bought um, I don't normally measure things I don't normally pay attention to <laughs> how much of like seasoning and things that I put or what spices that I put into things because I'm just so used to like doing it to taste or just a little at a time so I'm going to try to slow down and pay attention a little more where I can at least like type it out on the screen to let y'all know what I'm putting in something or maybe actually remember to use a measuring cup or <laughs> but there should be some future videos on some of these recipes so stay tuned and be sure to turn your notification bell on and it will let you know just as soon as I have a premiere or upload a new video in the near future. I don't know when. I have actually kept up really good with having one up. I think in like a week I've had three or four up. So pretty proud of myself because I feel like that's a good start. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.